Oh. <sighs> Hi, baby. Good morning to you, my lovely wife. Are you still in bed? Yes. You could just swoop me up now. Oh, sorry. I called to say good morning and to remind you how grateful I am to have you as my wife. Are you there, honey? <laughs> of course I'm here. And you don't need to remind me. I know all that. Now tell me how it's work. Just as it should be. Mm. Mm. Alright, sweetheart. Just hang in there, okay? You'll be out soon, I promise. Yeah, sure. How is everything at home? I'm going as usual. <gasps> Shoot, honey! <gasps> is there a problem, honey? Oh, nothing serious, but just that I have to prepare now. You know how morning traffic is. I need to beat off. Please. Okay, you do that. I love you, sweetheart. I love you. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Alright, so how is Seth this morning? Very well. I uh, made a lot of sales this morning. Ah, yeah. Super nice. Thank you. I love you. Thank you, Auntie. Okay. Now, Jerry, what is all this? Hmm? I was... Have I not taught you how to sample goods to attract customers? Why won't you scatter them everywhere? I'm sorry, Auntie. Do you ever learn? I'm sorry, Auntie. You will always tell me you're sorry, Jerry. My friend, get out. Give me. Sorry, Auntie. Looking beautiful this morning. Out, Jerry. my Auntie. My friend. I think you should take a break from the shop sometimes. Jerry is really doing a good job here. Oh, do you want me to lose everything? I mean, how? You pay him. See, if I leave this shop under Jerry's care, believe me, I will go bankrupt. Jerry is a very careless human being. You haven't noticed? I mean, if I leave this shop under Jerry's care, I will go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. So how do you take care of pressing matters? I didn't get that. 
Don't tell me you're giving up on having children. Ah! Oh. <sighs> Juliet! Juliet, Juliet! Juliet, not again! I am not giving up. Believe me, that I'm alive today, despite all that I've been through concerning this child issue. Listen, what will be, will be. It wouldn't be if you sit and do nothing. What have I not done? I'm asking. You are my friend. Now, what have I not done? I mean, can't I at least breathe a good fresh air? I'm asking you. <sighs> Yeah, Jerry. Come, 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 come to my office now. Each time we talk about this, it makes me go mad, as in... You can't do this here. You can't. Take a look at it. There's a young man there. The one on a white shirt and blue jeans, yes. I have noticed that man. I do not understand what he's doing there. Please, just go back. Go back to the show. Aunt Nengi, are you okay? Jerry, please! Go back to what you're doing. It's okay, my friend. I was just looking out for you. I'm sorry, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry for what I said earlier, my friend. Come on. It's nothing, Juliet. Come on. It's okay. Sincerely, my friend. I think about you every passing day. Mm. You're such a nice woman. And you deserve children. <sighs> well, they're not coming. So... Leave it, Juliet. Leave this children matter. Hmm? If that's how God has designed it to be so, God will be. never assign such an ill look to you, my friend. Don't say that. Hmm? Take a good look at yourself, Juliet. Look at yourself very well. You got married five years after I got married. You already have three good looking healthy children but i do not have none i have nothing not even an artistic child nothing children will come hmm? children will come they will hmm? when when 20 good years 20 years is not 20 days or 20 months 20 Yes, in marriage, five different miscarriages, including IVF. Then when will children come? <laughs> come on, sweetheart. You are my best friend. I have been to several spiritual... Shit, that's what you people call it. Yeah. Houses. Uh -huh. yeah. I have been there, yet nothing. Please rest this case, I beg, as well. Then okay. adopt... Adoption? Mm -hmm. I don't know. For some reason, my husband doesn't accept it. Talking me to it. 
You both are not getting any younger. Time waits for no man. <sighs> All right, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're my best friend. Mm -hmm. I promise I will keep talking. Okay, dear. That's my friend. <laughs> come here. You come here, you. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Please, don't think. Okay? Mm? Well, I will try not to. Yeah, be cheerful. Everything will be fine, okay? It's all right. All right. My regards to the family. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye for now. Bye, say. I will. Business is good, sweetheart. Are you there, Oni? Hello? Yes, I'm here. <clears throat> so why are you not saying anything? Uh, but I've been saying something. You are just the one who is acting up. You know, because I suggested we go for adoption. Not again. This is not the right place for you to talk about it. Besides, I thought we are over that. Excuse me. Now, what reason do we have to get over this? Brian, I'm asking you. You know what? I will leave you to think this over. There is nothing to think about. Hello? Brian? No, you are me. Don't you cry, it's gonna be alright. Daddy, you can never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, all that is your name. I say you can never share your glory with any power that almighty God. Oh, that is your name. Heavenly Father, I've come before you. Thou ancient of days. Omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient is your name. Ascent of the days in any way that I've seen. Short of your glory, O oh God. I will make you not to give ear unto my cry. Lord, I ask for mercy, O oh God. The only have I seen and done evil in thy sight, O oh God. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not the Holy Spirit away from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with a free spirit, O oh God. I ask for help, the scent of the days. I ask for help, O oh God. I ask for help, Jehovah DC. People are laughing at me. This is the hour, O oh God, for you to prove that you are God. I need a child of my own. I need a child of my own. I need a child of my own. Give ear unto my cry, O oh God. I will not leave you unless you bless me. I will not leave you unless you bless me. The sense of the days. <laughs> Remember your word says there will never be barren in the land. There will never be barren in the land. How can your word return void unto you, O oh God? I ask, O oh God, that you will remember me. <laughs> Oh
to the show early today. All right then. I've heard you. Mm. Did you say how? I stopped by the shop yesterday. But you were not there. After dropping the kids off at school today, I stopped by again. But Jerry said he hasn't seen you for two days. Well, I decided to rest. I decided to stay away from show, but at least let me relax a bit. You know, catch some uh, fresh air. <laughs> After all, I'm listening to your adverts. That's what you said I should do. That's exactly what I'm doing now. So, chill. Does that include your phone? All right, fine. I'm sorry. You should be for trampling on my mental health for two days. Mm -hmm. This apology is not accepted. What? Without a good meal to go with. Mm. Longer throats, you are good. I beg you, know where kitchen is. You're not a visitor in this house. Go and make food for us, Seth. I'm even hungry. <laughs> so it's like that now? Of course! Yes. Fine. Mm -hmm. Shakara. <laughs> Not only cooking. Thank God you're here. What of us will clean this house today? <laughs> Juliet. Juliet will finish me. <laughs> I know you're a good cook. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. You know, sometimes I feel so bored staying in this house alone. You know, my husband is not always around, so he's at work. Mm -hmm. I know, dear. Maybe you should invite your siblings' children. They can come and stay with you until your husband is back home. What do you think? That taught me a lot. Why? How? What happened? Julie. Hmm. If you go upstairs, you will see a female room well decorated. <laughs> We decorated that room for my elder brother's child. Okay. We were living with her right from the day she was born till she became six years old. So what happened? I know your elder brother has three children. Of course. So what happened? I don't understand. A girl, beautiful girl, Amanda. She calls me mother. All of a sudden, my other brother decided it was time for him to take his daughter home. 
I felt bad. I felt like pulling down the heavens. But it's all right. <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. Hmm? God will make your miracle worth the wait. Amen. You'll see. Okay? Just help me. Put me in prayers. I sure you. Remind God. He said there won't be barren in the land. Let him at least remember me. Even if he's one. I'm sure he'll come. Amen. And your own child. I don't. It's not you like. Thank you. Have a good taste. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Actually, let me try. How much is it? It's two five. Two. Same five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Just keep the change. You're welcome. Ah, my friend. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nomi. How have you been now? Uh, I'm fine. Good day, Ma. It's good day, darling. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. So, how can we help you? Auntie, she wants to buy that gent now. <laughs> how did you know that already? She's a regular customer. Actually, Jerry, I don't want to buy that gent today. <laughs> to your face. Excuse me. Your aunt is very funny. You can say that again. So, let me. What do you want this time? What energy drink do you have here? This is. Okay, we have beer and we have black bullets in the fridge and freezer. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't worry, let me check. Please, please show me. That little thing I said yesterday. Is that why you're you're giving me all this attitude? I'm fine. 
I just want to concentrate on what I'm reading. But see, Naomi, I didn't say anything bad. Eh? Look at you now. Look at you. See how beautiful you are. Endowed. Every day you're crying for money. Every day you're crying for money. Unfortunately, your mother does not even care about yourself. She does not she doesn't even give you anything. At all. And your two elder brothers, they're on their own. Everybody's struggling to survive in this country. Eh? Since I've been telling you, why don't you just uh, uh, Lucy, Lucy, thank you very much for your concern, okay? I have a job. Mm. I write for movie producers. Eh? Yeah? Yes, I do. Movie producers. <laughs> 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 Movie producers, the ones that pay you peanuts and insults to go down with. Uh, Lucy, please. I know you are my friend. Mm -hmm. eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So if I tell you I am broke, mm. eh, just pray for me. Mm. Pray. Don't try to convince me to go out with you and meet me because it will not work. Mm. Eh, my friend, thank you. Now, wow. Last, last, you will still get laid by a man one day. I wonder how this delay. Leave us, ah. Joe. Virginia. I want that. Just day yeah, they do. Now you at last last now you go still do pass. Uh -uh. Chill. People you know nice. I beg leave this game. Make she day yeah, they do like say. Think about it though. Babe, now you go money. still do pass. Start begging me. Let's go. After I do, I see. Close that book. Like, Wait, find what you do. To arrange them. All right, and uh, need you to take your food. This one you've been walking. Auntie. This is my favorite, Auntie. I'm coming. No problem. of my minerals did you steal? My favorite, don't you? Mm. I'm asking you. Steal, yes. uh -huh. You know you like to steal my merinda. Okay, I'm coming. What? <laughs> Let me come here, come and confess. Eh? How many drinks did you steal today? Jerry, come here. <laughs> I knew it. You knew what? You said what? Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for this food. This is exceptional. It's delicious. Trust me. Now, Jerry, eh? Mm -hmm. You keep appreciating food, yet you do not add some flesh. Why? <laughs> Auntie... Not just any kind of food. I mean, it's yours. This is delicious now. And moreover, do I, look, I don't look skinny now. You do? Now, who is deceiving you? My friend, is it because you have not vanished from this show? Oh my God. Now, believe me. Now, listen to me. A day will come when you'll be this skinny, 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 and before you know it, you will vanish. Now, what will I tell that yo? Who? Father, remind me this girl's name. What's that? Naomi. 
Now, if you disappear from this <laughs> shop into thin air, what will I tell Naomi? Auntie. Hmm? Ah, okay, fine. First of all, I won't vanish because it is naturally impossible. And secondly, the Naomi... She's just a customer here. Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> I do not trust you youths of this generation. Now take my advice. You need to eat food. You need to relax and add some flesh. Okay. What do you think is going on between the Naomi and I? How will I know if you don't tell me? I wouldn't know. Now listen. This young lady was here today in the shop three good times looking for three different things that we do not even have in the shop Auntie. isn't that crazy <laughs> Auntie. don't tell me you monitor every movement here have you forgotten this is my shop young man i monitor i see everything is it because i'm keeping okay, quiet okay. Auntie, I know you're trying to bring words from my mouth. Mm. I mean, fine. I better go and finish your food. Get me cold water to drink, please. Thank you. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Cherry. <laughs> the love of a mother is a blessing. On your door, the love of a mother. Open up and grab your love. The love of a mother is a blessing. And you will be loved. You're a blessing. I love you. I love you. Love is knocking at your door. Love is knocking at your door. How long will I? continue like this just look at me 20 years in matrimony no child of my own to run out and welcome me oh god i feel so abandoned i feel so left alone in this world Hmm. I don't even know what else to do before you would take this affliction away from me. I have suffered emotionally and physically. Come on, leave the house. Please, give me now. You dying woman. Your destiny, my brother's house, has finally opened. So go in there, pack your things, and everything you came to this house with, and leave. This house now. Why? I said you must leave this house now. I say yes. you know, I must leave. See, my brother is the only son of our family. If he doesn't bear children, who will take over his legacy? Yes. Who will take over all these properties? <laughs> it's obvious. You're no longer good enough for him. Yes. All you know is to take his money and buy clothes, buy shoes, buy makeup. Okay. You must leave this house now. You can't even give him a child. So go in there and pack your face and leave. Thank Look you. at her. No, I don't know if you want to open your dress. What are we going to do? Please, please, please. 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 Please, I'm begging you. Let the sister please. Let the Think 
on my wife again. That person will not know what hits her. Man, man, a man, my sister, barren witch. Sorry, it's okay. What even an investment? I don't know if 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 my own life. I don't I don't deserve this. Hey, you. Honestly. Bring in the bags. Try this. She must leave this house now. If she has given my brother anything, eh? Don't stop you! Don't stop you! Come on! Come on! Just this human being. Let me see what you want. I will slap you this time. I don't slap this woman. Give this place now. See, see, see. She must leave. Wait, wait. Spending my brother's money on jewelry. Make only the poor one. Make me feel bad. Yes, you show me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If you need, yeah, yeah. If you need, yeah, I will suck you for this. I'm offended. I'm offended. I'm offended. I will suck you. I will suck you. I will suck you. I will suck you. How dare you both walk into my house to harass my wife? Do you know I can have the boat apprehended for trespassing? Shut up! She says, shut up! You know you want to arrest your two sisters because of that stranger. She is my amply wedded wife. <laughs> wife. And the earlier you both cut my marriage <laughs> off your business, the better for us all! Brother, we will not stay away from marriage. <laughs> it is solely our business. How can you be living under the same roof with a woman that's eating all the children in her womb? A witch! What did you say? I said she's a witch! You slapped her. Yes! Now, both of you leave my house. I don't want to ever see you in this house again. Very soon. You will come back in this. You see that your wife there? She will talk to Mona very soon. And the rest of you is true. I will never come begging you both. Now leave my house and don't ever return. You will come begging us. Leave my house! Give me my back! Get out of my back! Hey, leave my house! I never you return! No sense! You will come back in a-
smiling girl. <laughs> so, were you able to buy anything from my shop today? Yeah, I got some snacks already. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, do you know what I like about you? No, ma. You are always smiling. <laughs> hey, I like it. Keep it up. Mm? It shows you have a good heart. Do not allow anyone to take it away from you. Thank you, ma. <laughs> All right. So, I hope I'll be able to see you before we close for the day. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll come. Yeah. All right. Thank you, ma. All right. <laughs> She's always smiling. <laughs> Smiling like this. Any good news? <laughs> My dear, God is faithful. Ah, hmm. uh -uh. I won't drink, you know. This God is really faithful. So, what was the good news now? Just me. Wait. Hey, you now have a boyfriend. Hey, we don't tell me he's the supermarket boy. Because I've been seeing you going in and out of that supermarket. But I don't really know what's going on. Uh, Lucy, can you shut up? Just shut up. Who is even talking about having a boyfriend? You see, you see how the word boyfriend has clouded your mentality. You see, you can't even think straight. Hmm? I beg, I beg, I beg. If you want to give me this, tell me the gist. Now they insult me. If you don't want to tell me, let me continue with my makeup and go to your mm house. -hmm. Anyways, uh, it has to do with the boy's aunt. God, she's so nice and homely. I wish she was my mother. She told me I have a nice smile and I should come around later. I just feel so excited. So? So? I think the woman wants to be my friend. I don't even understand. It's... <laughs> Your fellow woman, like woman, told mm -hmm. you that she likes your smile. Uh -huh. What's wrong with that? And wants to be your friend. Yes. She's 50 50 now. Please, please. Which one is 50 50 again? Oh, no, no. Oh Lord, oh, she's in two girls. She did do. She's in two girls. Uh, Lucy, please. She doesn't strike me like that kind of a person. So I don't. I don't think so. Mm. Uh, yes, I don't. Think okay, so. that was good. Go close now. Go close to her. And you see what I'm telling you about. For my friend, it is better to do men, leave women. Do I know? Why, why is this girl so negative with the things that comes out of her? You see, you, you see, when I look at you, I see Jezebel. Jezebel. Still do men. Leave women. Your Change life. you. It's your life. It's only God. You see positive things and you see negative. Jerry, this your pen is not writing well. <laughs> Auntie, let's check it. Oh, out. Josh, uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay. Auntie. Yes. Yeah. Look at the stops. The bonfita is not available. The big size. We have the small size. And what is it? The conflicts. Two customers came this morning asking for them. So. I know that's why I signed there. So let's see how this weekend goes. Let's see what happens. Tinangi, mm -hmm. you came late today. I hope there's no problem. Yeah, no problem. I was late because I was cleaning the house, doing some laundries. Of course, Jerry, you know that I live alone in that big house. My husband is out of town for work. Auntie Nengi. What? You're really trying, you know. 
I mean, I can't stay in that big house. Jerry, all alone. Huh. Until I can't, or like, just like, I can't. Now, hold on, young man. Why are you acting like you missed your Auntie Nenge so much, as oh. in like crazy? <laughs> when I was coming in, I saw her going out. Auntie Nenge, uh -huh. you saw her going out. Hey, Jerry, calm down. <laughs> Auntie Nenge, mm. you mean Naomi? Uh -huh. <laughs> come, Auntie Nenge. <laughs> She's just a friendly customer now. Just relax. She is a good girl. Believe me, I know her kind. So I like her already. Well. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Jerry, you're blushing already. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say, but... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, calm down. What I do not want... He's a premature baby. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Auntie Nengi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Auntie Nengi. Kubano. Yeah, hello. Hello, ma. I'm at the junction. Yes, I, I'm, I'm here. I can't see you at the junction. I can't see your car. I'm here. I can even see you already. Just turn, turn. Oh, okay. I'm coming, ma. Thank you, and you? Very well. I'm glad you, you know, accepted to accompany me to the market. It's no problem, my any time. <laughs> well, I have something for you, food. I'm sure you'll be hungry by now. So you'll eat this, you know, while we head to the market. For me, ma? Yes, for you. So you'll eat it while we head to the market. How do you do? I'm fine, I'm fine. Academia. Hmm. Every time you read. How about you? Oh, hmm. 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 So your mother does not give you money for food. Or even drop food at home before going to work. What would I say? That's old story now. I'm used to it, my sister. Wow, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Your mother is very mean, sir. <laughs> Your mother is mean, no? Mm. Mm. I cannot fight her now. What would I do? Mm. She has work. It's my first friend, right? Ah. If it was I, you see. Mm. Eh? Mm. I'm going to look up some money. I don't have time to do this. I cannot come out in my head. Mm -mm. The thing is, eh? mm. I would have loved to. Mm. Uh, but as you said, eh, I'm not like you. I don't think like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's me now that I'm the black sheep. I'm black sheep. Uh, Lucy, mm -hmm. please, if it's because of this bread and this mineral that you're eating, eh? mm -hmm. that is making you talk to me like this, mm. thank you. You can eat. I, did, I don't even beg you. I'm not that one. Not my girlfriend. You want to say this? This I. At the back of this, I'll shoot now. You know, I'm this bag. And. That a man. You're begging me now. It's back to this I. But I won't give you now. See me? No. Yeah, it's not. It's what my boyfriend bought me. Lulu! Get out. Now, 
Ah, the book is what? What do I say? What? Don't you like it? No, 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 no. Listen, I can get something else for you to eat. No, no, no ma, it's fine. It's fine. I, I like it. It's thoughtful of you, ma. Thank you. Then go ahead and eat it. Anyone around me must surely eat. It's mandatory. Okay? Thank so you, you can ma. add some flesh. Thank you, ma. That's my girl. Love for mother is a blessing. The love of a mother Open up and grab your love The love of a mother Is a blessing You have loved You're a blessing I love you I love So Naomi Who do you live with? My mom And two older brothers Single parent? Yes, ma. I can relate. I mean, your mom must be very lucky to have three of you. <laughs> she really is. Sometimes I feel like she doesn't deserve us. Now, uh, why would you say a thing like that? I mean, every woman in her prime deserves to have children. <laughs> Don't worry, soon you will understand. I know in Mother's Pride I have children. Hmm. But with my mom, mm, she acts like my brothers and I don't exist. Now, oh, this is deep. Can you explain further? That's if you don't mind. My mother only looks out for herself. I agree my brothers are men and they're already out there trying to survive with no help from her. And I, life has been very unbearable since I don't act like other girls of my age who rely on men for money. Wow, does your mother have a reason for this? I mean, none of my children will have it tough in life. <laughs> Not while I'm alive, Britain. Your children must be very lucky to have you, man. Now, where is your mom? She left for work. Even though I am done with Pepsi Corsa, she left no food for me to eat. Gosh. This is so heart wrenching. I mean, so many women are out there looking for children. Why reverse is the case of your mother? What a word.
Served, intelligent and smart. How unbalanced can the world be? I am here crying just for a child. And God blessed some of the woman who has no idea with three children. But I don't understand. Why am I so attached to this girl? seem to be very comfortable with her these days. I mean, unlike the Auntie Nengi I know who doesn't attach herself to people. So. <laughs> Is that all? Yes. That's because the young girl is a good girl. I find her strong with or very attractive for a girl at her age. Are you okay? Auntie Nengi, well, um, I'm happy and glad you're saying this because why not take her as your own daughter? Who knows? By doing that, God might I mean, give you your, 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 your own, your own issue, Auntie. Jerry, yes. there's a very strong, solid decision to make. I hope you know that. Auntie Mangi, think about it. Jerry. See the way you display the intense mother and Total chemistry. I mean, that oneness, that closeness. Right. Just think about it, Auntie. Hmm? All right. Um, what have you been able to sell this morning? Many of sell this morning, Auntie. Mm. Auntie, don't trust me again. Oh, yeah, go and get your fire. You think I will not ask you? Go and get your fire. I'll show you, don't worry. Ah, I'm waiting, please. When Jerry made those statements today wrapped round with jokes, I thought it to be weird, but it is something 
I can leave that. Oh, she has peptic ulcer. When I have wastage of food in this house, everything. Did she even eat before going to bed? Maybe I should find out. It is past midnight. That would seem very disorientated. Her modern siblings may be sleeping I will just wait till tomorrow morning. Yes. I've been trying her line, yes. It's not, I mean, she has not been picking my cords. No, ma. I need you to try her line now, please. Mm. Why are you so worried about mommy? I believe she's not close to her phone now. You think so? Well, let me try her number. It's the same thing. Now do you know if she has eaten for the day? Because it's past midday already. Auntie Nengi. What? Calm down. Stop panicking. I believe she's not close to her phone. All right. I'm not panicking. Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know the exact house, but I know the compound where she comes out from. Right. If Naomi is not here and the next one are, I have to go check on her. I think she'll be fine. I mean, she'll come and check you soon. You
ma. Ah, so you. I didn't know someone was coming. Sorry, ma. It's okay, dear. It's okay. Please. I'm looking for a young lady. Your age, your height, you know, brown in complexion. Ah, Naomi. Yes, Naomi is my friend now. She stays here. Oh, really? Yes, ma. I don't know the reason I've been calling her and she wouldn't pick my coats. She's inside. I can take you to her place if you want. Thanks. Please, I'll take you there. Thank you so much. Good evening, ma. Naomi. Yes, ma. Are you okay? Yes, ma. Fine, thank you. Are you sure? Yes, ma. Why then was I calling you and you refused to answer my call? I even asked Jerry to call you. You also refused answering Jerry's call. You got me worried. Well, I decided to come see you myself. What's the matter? Um, I'm fine, ma. Thank you for coming. Well, if you say so, I will, you know, I will go back. But hey, I prepared something for you. Actually, it's for you and I. So, um... I want you to come and eat. I'm starving also. Oh, oh okay, ma. Please, just, um, I'll come. I'll come and meet you, ma. It's fine. Are you sure? Yes, ma. I I'm sure. All right, then. I'll be waiting. Okay. Thank you, ma. Thank you. You're welcome, ma. Lucy! Lucy! <laughs> What's wrong with you? This woman just sounded like her husband was ignoring her. Shut up! You make more sense when you're not talking. You make more sense when I'm not talking. Yes, yes. Really? You cannot have thank you. Get out. Sorry, man, that food, do. Ma! Now, why did you behave like that? Did I do or say anything wrong? No, ma. No? Come on, there must be a reason for your actions. Ma, I, I don't want to get used to this kind of love and care. It will affect me if I end up not getting it with time. I also don't want to get attached to rich people. My last experience was devastating. Ma, I wasn't taking your calls because I was intentionally avoiding you. Without thinking about how I would feel? That's the point, Ma. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about you. I don't understand this closeness you have with me. I don't know anything about you, Ma. Alright. Calm down. What exactly do you want to know about me? How many children do you have, Ma? So wait, she doesn't have children. My dear, she has been married for 20 years and still counting. Hmm. Now I see. That really explains her closeness to you. I told you she was not into women. Olodo, you need a ear. Plastic ear. Hmm. Indeed. God has a way of fulfilling his promise to his children. Hmm. Mommy Jill. It is so good to hear that coming from you. I beg, whatever. <laughs> but like seriously, that woman. Hey, see the way she just. Oh, oh. Shh, she's a woman coming. Um, hello, ma. 
Good afternoon, ma. Uh, yeah, yes, ma. I just came home to shower. I'll be there soon, ma. Okay, ma. Bye. Bye, ma. You have to go. I want to go and meet her. Mm? Mom, but baby, it's high time you stop all this. Ma, 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 ma. Where do you call this woman? Go have something, mom, your mom. Huh? Because you got why, you? My friend, my friend. Mm -hmm. You see, you're too fast. Eh? There's time for everything. When we get to that bridge, eh? We'll cross. Ah, I believe you. <laughs> listen, listen. Ah, go on, Buster. Go on, meet her. Hey, Welcome to my home. Thank you. The house is big and beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome, ma. So, so you live here, you know? Well, yes. Well, I'm glad you like it. I, I love it, ma. I love it. Really? Yes, ma. I love it. All right. Let me take you inside, you know, for you to get set. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Bye. 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 <laughs> no. Don't you worry, don't you cry, it's gonna be alright. Good morning, mommy. Hi, good morning. Okay, all right. Yes, mommy. How was your night? Terrible. I just want to make us breakfast. Oh, what can I help with? Oh, no, 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 no. Please, you go and relax, okay? You're my guest. So I want you to be comfortable, okay? Okay, mommy. Go, 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 come on. Okay. Don't you cry. It's gonna be alright, The love of a mother is a blessing. On your door, the love of a mother. Open up and grab your love. The love of a mother is a love is not your door. The when you didn't come out to make breakfast as you always do. So I came looking for you and I found you shaking. Thank you. Now what would I have done without you? God bless you. You're welcome, ma. I'm supposed to drop you off. Yes, 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 ma. I feel so bad already. I'm seeing you as my daughter. Now you're about leaving. <coughs> so why why then am I leaving? <laughs> Hold on. Are you serious? I can stay if you want me to stay more. It's a lie. <laughs> of course I can. Stay with me. Please. Come here. <laughs> 
So, we're leaving. Take good care of yourself. Lock up the sure. house. Okay, mommy. Yeah. Stay safe. Have your mommy. You too. Alright. Bye. 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 Today. Is that not the same girl from your shop? You mean my daughter Naomi? Daughter? How? All right, I haven't told you. It's a long story though, but I'm going to make it short because you're my friend. I have adopted her and we live together right now. Adoption with paperwork? Because she even called you mom. <laughs> seriously, seriously, there is no reason for that. I mean, paperwork will make the relationship I share with her as daughter and mother become official. I'm not liking it, so leave it. I'm supposed to say I'm happy for you. But this whole thing doesn't make sense. How would you take her in without any agreement? My friend, we have a strong bond together. That is the only agreement I have as we speak. It's okay. <laughs> I'm really scared for you, Ming. What if she decides to leave tomorrow when she becomes something? What is your fate then? It will not come to that. I promise. I know you truly love me. You care for me. But it won't come to that, I promise you. Don't take her too serious, Nengi. You might end up shattering your hearts. Can you please be positive for once and stop being negative? That girl you see there. Now my first child be that. Don't get too carried away. You said it before, Juliet. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Let me just take you to the market. Don't you worry, don't you cry, it's gonna be alright,
You can say that again, sweetheart. Naomi here is a God sent child. Believe me. I can see that. <laughs> How is work, Levin? Well, it is something I am open about it. It was fantastic. <laughs> I can see both of you are itching to get acquainted. Can we do that after dinner? So much. Don't tell me you are you are jealous. It's a father and daughter conversation. Hello. I'm not. It's just I only want both of you to get choked. That's all. So eat. You can gossip much later. <laughs> well, it is something I cannot control. <laughs> now me. Yes, I got you a lot of gifts. You're still talking. Hey, eat. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Thank you, daddy. <laughs> I haven't said anything about her. About who? Naomi, of course. <laughs> well, I like her. Her fondness with you is unimaginable. And the way she looks out for us is a good sign. It reminds me of when my uncle asked us to adopt. Who knows? Naomi is covering for everything. <laughs> Yeah. You can say that again, sweetheart. Ah, Naomi, ever since this girl came into our lives, I've been happy. Believe me, I have been happy. Sometimes I feel that girl is a girl sent to our family. Yes. Believe me, she has made me feel the joy of motherhood. <laughs> Many of my friends feel that that girl is my biological child, except for Juliet. Really? Really, really. What? How? I don't know how Naomi came up with the idea of telling people that I gave birth to her when I was much younger. And they <laughs> believed her. I'm telling you, except for that naughty Juliet. Of course, wow. Juliet knows her before now. <laughs> she might be the reason why God picked that location of shop for you. You know how we hate that area. I know. We never liked it. <laughs> you know, Julia talked me into it. And I'm not glad that mm -hmm. I took it up. Otherwise, I would have missed the chance of, you know, beating Naomi. Check it out, honey. You see? <laughs> God's time is the best. You were absolutely right, baby. <laughs> Don't you worry. Don't you cry. It's gonna be alright, guys. The love of a mother is a blessing. What has come over you? Are you okay? Of course. I am fine. I am perfectly fine. No, you are not thinking right. Do you know how much I paid in that hospital? Oh, really? So it's all about money right now. Huh? You went behind me to make an arrangement for me to undergo for IVF. Do you know how that makes me feel? Of course, I did not expect you to understand you were a man. 
Only we agreed you are going to undergo another IVF when I return from work. Oh yes, we did. But that doesn't change the fact that you went behind me to make an arrangement. Why? Do you know how I feel? Do you know what IVF, how it makes me feel? Oh. Do you? Dad, is everything okay around here? What's going on, Dad? Sweetheart. Fine. Everything is alright. I need you to go back to your room and rest now. Everything is fine, sweetheart. Actually, I was on my way out. You cry, it's gonna be alright. The love of a mother is a blessing, and you will be loved. You're a blessing. Have you eaten? Oh, that's not what I'm saying. Alright, come. I love you. I love you. Love is knocking on your door The love of a mother Open up and grab your love The love of a mother Is a blessing You will be loved You're a blessing I love you, I love you Love is knocking at your door Mom, what's going on? I mean, Dad left the house pretty angry today and you have been soaking all day. What's going on, Mom? Mommy. Your daddy wants me to go through IVF again. I've gone through this process twice with my egg and it failed. The doctor suggested that we get a random donor since I'm above 40 that mine might not work again, but I do not want that. I do not want a random donor. I have you. You are my child. You came into my life. And I'm okay. You filled the vacuum of me being childless. I'm okay. Just yeah. fine with you. Mom, but that doesn't see it that way. He doesn't think with it that way. Your dad is eager to have a male child. I have you. I'm okay. Now listen. I cannot risk it. Never. Not with another donor. No. Even if he wants a male child. Is it that we adopt? Or we wait? Till God gives us one. But for now. I'm okay with you. Go to my room. There's a panadol there. I need to take. Please. Okay, Mom. Don't you worry. Don't you cry. It's gonna be alright. What will I do to help you change your mind? Nothing. Absolutely nothing you can do to change my mind. You know how important this is to us, right? It doesn't mean we shouldn't take caution. I can still do it the usual way I normally do it. I cannot carry 
a donor in this body, and that is final. Okay, that means this house will no longer contain us. Until you are back to your senses. I am in my senses, Brian. You are the one who is being irrational here. If I was irrational, I would have thrown it out of this house a long time ago. Hey, then what are you waiting for? Throw me out. The door is open if you want to leave. I am tired of this marriage. What? Don't you worry. Don't you cry. It's gonna be alright. get this letter. I would be long gone with my daughter. I think after 20 years together we really need break from this marriage. Don't bother looking for us. We are safe. Goodbye. Yes, it is. I'm afraid. You pushed up too hard this time, Mr. Brian. But I will just do what every man in my situation will do. Speak for yourself. Some men will consider what their wives have been through. And consider adoption. She's not taking any of my calls. Okay, fine, I accept. I pushed her too hard. But can I at least see her? I miss them both. The house is too empty without them. Please. This may cost me my friendship with her. Mm. But I believe everyone deserves a second chance. Thank you. That's her new address. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> Mr. Brian, my friend has been through a lot this period. You assist her in every way she needs. And please, don't hurt her again. Thank you. I appreciate your effort. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It will happen again. Good day, Mr. Brian. The love of a mother is a blessing. Door, the love 
love of a mother Open up and grab your love The love of a father Is a blessing You and Get out of my way! Please Please, I'm very, very sorry I know you will come for this, but you can't do this without me, please. I still love you, you are still my wife. Please forgive me. I met your friend, Juliet. She gave me the number to your new address. Please. What about my daughter, Naomi? The house is too empty without the both of you. Please. I can't do this alone without you. Please, my wife. Oh, mercy. Open up and grab your love, the love. 